A rally is underway at Columbia in solidarity with two student groups that have been suspended for the fall semester. This is after what the school calls an unauthorized event last week in support of Palestinians. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor is live on the campus. Lots of people there. Alice? Dick and Dana, this is a live look behind me at the hundreds of students gathered here in the center of campus. This was organized by the Palestinian Student Union, started around 4.30 this afternoon and is expected to go for another 30 minutes. Students gathered on campus Tuesday say they support the groups Students for Justice in Palestine, or SJP, and Jewish Voice for Peace, or JVP, after the official student groups at Columbia University were suspended for the rest of the fall semester. In a statement, the school's special committee on campus safety said in part, quote, the two groups repeatedly violated university policies related to holding campus events, culminating in an unauthorized event Thursday afternoon that proceeded despite warnings and included threatening rhetoric and intimidation. We reached out to the school to find out what specifically was said, but did not hear back. This means the two groups won't receive university funding or be able to hold events on campus. I mean, as a Palestinian, I've, I've known since I was born that we need to speak out or there might not be a Palestine left to speak for. Um, so hearing that SJP and JVP couldn't give that voice, had to be here, had to show up. I mean, it's in my entire life, in my dad's entire life, we've never seen this many people just care about our cause and care about our people. The group suspended have posted statements on social media calling this an attack on free speech and selective censorship of pro-Palestinian student organizations. College campuses elsewhere have suspended students and arrested them over various protests over the war, from MIT to Brown. Some students have said they feel unsafe on their campus due to heated protests. And in talking to some of the students, they say Thursday's event was a die-in. There was a silent protest. There was an art exhibit. The school says in order to lift the suspension, the two groups have to comply with school policies and engage in consultations at a group leadership level with university officials. They also said in that same statement, Columbia University, that they strongly are committed to giving space to student groups to participate in debate, advocacy, and protest, like the large protest you see here behind me so far. It's been peaceful again. It's expected to go until at least 6.30. Live in Morningside Heights, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Alice, thank you.